Hi, this is Tara Coyote, and I am in my car on the way to the hospital. Why am I going to the hospital? I am not sick. I am very healthy, but I'm going to get an MRI. So in case you don't know about me, I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer almost two years ago in September 2016. I've been following an exclusively natural route of healing. I'm doing very well. I've been using the RGCC method to monitor myself and all sorts of things. You can go to my website, cancerwarriors.com to check out all I've been doing. But the reason why I want to make this video is because I have chosen to get an MRI with the non-contrast dye with the gandalonium. Gandalonium can be quite toxic. So I thought I'd make a little video to share my experience because it's been kind of an interesting experience trying to get an MRI without the contrast dye. I asked my oncologist, who's actually very open-minded and wonderful, it's exceptionally rare oncologist where I live, and he said, sure, why not? And then, so he put in the order, the insurance approved it, and then what followed was about three weeks of back and forth phone calls between the radiologist office, the oncologist, and myself. The radiologist office saying, well, you know, you can't really see much without the contrast dye, and me just standing firm in my message saying, that's absolutely fine. I'm just wanting to get it without the contrast. And if I want to do it later with the contrast, I can. But this is my decision. And many, many, many more messages and phone calls back and forth of this, of me just standing strong in my truth. So now I'm going to the hospital to do the MRI. And I must confess to be a little vulnerable that I am a little bit nervous because I really don't like going into the hospital. I've had some pretty traumatic experiences there because of... Uh, getting all these messages coming in while I'm videoing because of my dear friend's experience being there with her in the hospital while she had leukemia and my own experience of going into that realm and them telling me I am going to die if I don't start chemotherapy right away and asking me what the heck I'm doing and telling me I'm crazy. So I try to avoid going into the hospitals as much as possible. So I think I'm being very, very brave to do this right now and um, I'll take another quick little video on the way in just because I'm having fun with this. Why not have fun on the ride, right? And I thought I'd share my lovely sidekick here. Here's <laughs> Cyrus. Hello, y'all. He's my driver, my <laughs> chauffeur to this lovely appointment. You betcha, and to all the others. <laughs> all right, so thanks for tuning in. I'll be filming in a moment and much love to all of you bye bye hello so i'm about to go in and get my mri and i'd like to point out the sign right here that says warning this area contains a chemical known to the state of california to cause cancer <laughs> wait a second <laughs> let me think about this for a moment i'm a cancer patient and i'm going to get an mri and i'm exposing myself to something that might cause cancer Seems a little funny. Anyways, well, I'm about to go in. I'll take a clip when I'm done. Wish me well, and um, hopefully they will abide by my wishes to do the non-gandalonium, non-contrast MRI. Ciao. Hey, so this is a little video taken after my MRI. Um, it was as I thought. I went in there and they said, we don't have record of you wanting a non-contrast MRI. And I said, wait a second, what about all those phone calls back and forth between the oncologist, radiologist office and myself? And they said, we have no record of it. So my partner Cyrus and I waited there for a bit and the official doctor came and talked to me and he said, you know what, you can't really see much with an MRI like this. And I said, that's okay. I don't want the gandalonium and I trust I'll see what I have to see. And so after some debate and some talking, they actually allowed me to do the non-gandalonium, non-contrast MRI, which I'm very happy about. I must say it is very traumatic for me to do the MRI. I had a circumstance where my dear friend Deb, um, I was the only friend of hers with her and, um, 
she almost died doing a PET scan once. It was a code red experience. So whenever I do MRIs, it reminds me of that. So it's a little traumatic. Plus the fact that I'm day five on my fruit doctor Morse cleanse and feeling a little lightheaded and all the loud noises of the MRI. It's kind of not the most pleasant experience. So I'm feeling a little sensitive right now. So anyways, I'm glad I did it. I know I'll see what I want to see. And my whole experiment and purpose in doing it was to see if I could make it happen because I've had some friends go in that situation and they were told that they could do it. And then when the time came to do it, they actually were told they couldn't. So I'm really glad I was able to do it. And um, there you go. There's my experience. Thanks for tuning in. Lots of love to all of you. Ciao.